Today we're gonna do a quick review on the 61 inch Bradley stand on. What's going on, Michael Willandu Lawn Maintenance LLC? Gonna do a quick review. It's already starting to rain. You cannot plan this stuff out. I see the 52 inch uh, Bradley mowers, are they worth the mower video? Had a lot of views and a lot of people interested in the machine. I've had a lot of people contact me, asking questions about them curious about them. I also had a lot of comments where people said they're junk, don't buy, I wouldn't buy. Uh, they had bad experiences and either way, I honestly don't care. So everybody's got their own opinion. For me, they're great mowers. Now the 61 inch, you don't see a lot about them. And uh, this one just came from out the field, literally cutting the field out of one of our commercials. I had it out today. Now, if you need in-depth information on the Bradley, I suggest you look at my other video, Are They Worth the Money? Um, and any problems I stated in that video, I haven't had with this one. I have 40, 42.9 hours on it. That's a feature that I decided to have them add in uh, when I got the machine. Last one I added in on my own. I did add in this bad boy. I was just talking to uh, Kings of Courtyard about that. How I got the same ones. And we both uh, got the idea from someone else on uh, YouTube. And it's much better than the standard pen. This is the standard pen. And what happens is, this one not so much. But the old one, the way the exhaust goes... This pin will fall off down underneath the exhaust, but with this being magnetic, you just pull it out like so. Just slap it in, put the little keyway up there. But either way, upgrades to the 61 is that tank right there. They don't put a gauge on it because you can see how much gas you have in there. Another upgrade I would say offhand I notice is the hydros tend to be adjusted um they tend to be adjusted a little uh, a little more to where this bad boy goes. It really goes compared to my 52. 
uh, the hydro is way more responsive. I know I can adjust that on the 52, but this came out the gate this way. Of course, I had the ballot trash cans. Got a pick me up stick, my pesticide sign. But as far as the 61, this bad boy is good. It, it knocks stuff out quickly, way quicker than my 52. And again, it's not just because of the deck size. It's all about the fact that uh, the hydros are way more responsive. It's way faster. Um, I've already done my break-in oil changes. It's, it's just like the 52, obviously. It's literally the same exact mower as the 52 with a bigger deck. This is the first time I used the Bradley grass, uh, the grass shoot, shoot blocker, rather. And, you know, of course, that's how you operate that. I like it. I actually love it. Because I have this one, I have the advanced shoot blogger on my 52, and I have the uh, green guard on my 36. They all have their flaws. Uh, the green guard is great, but um, because I got the magnetic one instead of the one that drills in the deck, if you hit a bump or something the wrong way, it actually shifts or moves. Uh, the advanced shoot blogger, I'm not all that thrilled with that one because you got to reach in and get that, and it's just... It's a little more cheaply made. I mean, I hate to say it because I love Ballard products uh, so far. But out of all the products, that one right there, I, I, I'm not the biggest fan of. This one I love. I mean, of course, it's the personal mower I'm using. I love it because to me, it's really easy. I like the fact that you can angle it like that easily. But what I don't like is when you're on bumps, this thing tends to shift downward. And I've tightened these a couple times. You can see where I kind of flushed out the plastic there. So if there's a way to adjust that, somebody hit me in the comments and let me know, please. Um, I love how Bradley has changed their exhaust on this one. This is a much better design. Much better design. The 52, the exhaust is down here. So when leaves pile up, they always pile up right here. So it's at the point where you got to carry a blower on your back and do leaf jobs that way and that's uh that's kind of ridiculous when you're out there trying to uh take care of a job and you gotta actually uh carry a backpack blower just to make sure your mower don't catch on fire but plain and simple uh, a lot of guys have asked about the 61 inch mowers um it's literally the same as the 52 it has the same 26 horsepower vanguard which is more than enough power uh, what I don't like about it though is that it sucks down as much gas. Uh, these Briggs engines suck down so much gas compared to the Kawasaki's. Wish they had that option or EFI option, but currently the Vanguard is is all we have, which is again a solid engine, just burn some gas. I like how they constructed this one this time, where this doesn't just slide up in there. This is actually a show you right here. This is actually a screw that comes out of the mount. And the screw in this piece, the knob goes right onto the screw versus having it where it's slotted and these shift a lot on me on the other mower. I also got the run flats on this one too. So me personally, I have a lot of people ask me questions about the 61. I say it's worth every penny. Every penny. This thing is this thing is a beast. It's definitely turned to my favorite mower real quick. I don't even use the 52. My guy uses that one all the time at this point. Because this is this is my main machine. And they're they're priced so nicely, like you can't beat the price on a Bradley. Like they work with you uh, price wise. You get them in the off season, you get an even better price. I mean, and you, come on guys, you're spending twice as much on a name brand mower for what? I get the same stripes on this one. And I do have pictures to back that. I get the same stripes. Uh, I get the same cut quality and I'm still making money with, with these Bradleys. So despite what anybody is saying about, you know, oh, they're crap, this, that, and the third. Well, okay, go ahead. Keep spending 14 grand on a mower. 
He's been a nine grand on the mower. This bad boy right here, I think I got it on a winter special of like $5,400 for a 61 inch standoff. I think the regular price is six grand. You just can't beat that. It's all about return on your investment. All right, guys. That's my quick review on the 61 inch Bradley stand. Uh, you have any questions, just please leave me a comment. Peace. I don't deny there's some strange evolutionary process going on, but mankind won't be destroyed. The fact that you and I.